Worries over arsenic this morning at a public housing complex in the East Village. Now the city is warning those residents not to drink the water. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the East Village with a look at how residents are coping. Christina. Well, Cindy and Andrea, good morning. You can see there's been a steady stream of residents coming here this morning to collect clean bottled water. Thousands of residents living in this six block radius are impacted, and many say they've been complaining about the smell and taste of their tap for weeks, only to have their concerns taken seriously now. Tenants stocked up on bottled water outside the Jacob Reese houses after receiving these emergency notices not to cook or drink with a tap from their faucets. The city says dangerous levels of arsenic are in their tap. Everybody's worried. The whole development is worried. The alert was alarming, but many families say they've suspected something's been off for weeks. Stacy Jones first noticed her water was cloudy on August 2nd while cleaning her fish tank. As soon as she put the fish back in, it died. She also says her and her children's skin had been irritated. Around my stomach, my neck, and my foot was really irritated, real red, like patches of red spots. Jones called NYCHA. A representative came out, but she says they told her the water was fine. On Saturday, a month later, Mayor Eric Adams says NYCHA started testing immediately after getting multiple complaints of cloudy water in early August. It's affecting the whole development because nobody really have no real answers for us. And we don't know what's going on. A spokesperson from the mayor's office says additional testing on Friday showed arsenic levels higher than the federal standard for drinking water. But there's concern damage may have already been done. The question is, how long have the people and residents of Jacob Reese Housing been bathing with and drinking arsenic-laced water? And the mayor says the problem is only limited to this housing complex and that the water is still safe to drink in other parts of the city. Reporting live from the East Village, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.